we argue about the merits and demerits of being uh, a friend of Chris's, we'll take a look at this week's news. Across the country this week, the film that's been smashing records in America all summer, The Lion King. Animators who worked on the film have been keeping busy collaborating with top software company VIE on a game version. With levels based directly on scenes from the film, this will be a very faithful conversion, if disgustingly cute and icky. Appearing in a shop near you now, the first affordable virtual reality headset, Cybermax. If you've got a PC, you can ride this virtual ghost train in the comfort of your own home. Unfortunately though, it can't be used with existing games like Doom, but big companies will be making future releases compatible with this 500 quid piece of tragically unhip headgear. Hey look, it's Swindon on a summer's day. No it's not, it's actually Dino Island, the latest motion theatre ride that's opened in America. The game uses the same graphic techniques as Jurassic Park and this looks set to be just as successful as that film without being as overrated. Finally, the Games Master Network launched last week has taken off like a rocket with people called things like Jim the Highlander phoning up. We'll give you the logon number at the end of the show. Does a giant creature lurk below these peaceful waters? No, of course it doesn't. But with the lack of a decent football team, it's nice that we Scots have got something Americans will believe in. And it gives me the chance to meet yet more attractive birds. Through sonar, we've been able to locate what we believe to be Nessie's lair. But there was a new twist. She appeared to have eggs. Oh yeah, Jimmy Hell. The rescue operation will be conducted using advanced submersibles. These will be operated by teams of six volunteer scientists. The team will consist of a commander who leads the team and navigates, a pilot who actually maneuvers the vehicle through the lock, two robotic arm operators who will pick up the eggs and other objects, and two periscope operators who will have a 360 degree view of the lock. And all of them fancied me. Astute of you will have guessed, this isn't the real Loch Ness. It's a virtual Loch Ness, as presented in the latest interactive ride it just opened in the States. The ride takes place in a real-time 3D environment with eight separate submersibles fighting for the eggs and the chance to make their own Loch Ness omelette. Oh no, come on, shoot back him. However, I fancied the crew more than our chances. <laughs> Then, with her unerring instinct for disaster, my pilot aimed straight for a whirlpool. There's Nessie! Yes, there was Nessie and her eggs. It was time for my crew to prove they weren't just giggly Americans, but as we went for the egg, another team scuppered us. Finally, though, the coast was clear. It was now or never. Do or die! But then it was all over. My team was pants. Congratulations on your safe return. Good work, team. Good work. We didn't even get one 